Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Hannes. And today we're going to find out how hot we can get steel by crushing it with hydraulic press or hitting it with a hammer. We are going to try both out to see which one is better. And after that, if that fails and anyways, we are going to crush these. Because I realized that we have just crushed like thick steel tubes like this. Mm -hmm. But how about this? This is really thick. It's like really thick ass pipe and definitely wouldn't go like this. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to go like this. And we are going to film also this with thermal camera. So amazing video coming. Okay, and now we are going to test the concept. The concept is stolen from the old trick of hitting steel with hammer to make it hot. And I have only seen videos about this, but the idea is to hit something with hammer so it goes flat, then you turn it 90 degrees and hit it again to make it flat. And you keep doing this and it gets hotter every, every hit. And I have no idea how hard this is. Looks really easy on the YouTube. Everything looks. Even our videos look sometimes. Yeah, and they definitely are not. So don't trust anything you see on the internet. <laughs> okay, I'm not like. Okay, this is definitely harder in real life than on YouTube. It was really hard to like turn the steel and hit it perfectly at every time. So we switched the method to that where Hanna takes care of the steel part and I just hammer. And we tried with the bigger hammer and thinner piece of steel. But the threaded bar seems to be really bad steel alloy for this. It just splinters away. So back to the same steel that we used in the first try. And it surely gets hot. And you also like, you feel when it gets like really hot because the sound and the feel of the hammer hitting it, it changes to, to, to totally different feeling. It's like soft. You feel how soft the steel is going to get. And I got pretty excited that we are going to make this like red hot. But then it just like stays here and maybe also starts to like shatter a little bit. Uh, I think that like blacksmiths that do this easily on the video, like hit it 20 times and it's red hot. They probably are better with the hammer, but I assume that the steel might be different also. Yeah. Let's burn it. Don't burn your finger. No. Oh, I think, I think that's best that we can do. Yeah, I think if we would have better steel and thinner piece, I think it's quite depend on the alloy of the steel that you have. And also I think this is still too thick, but uh, we don't have any like thin things here. Everything is thick. So I link good video down in the description when you yeah. can see like how it's done. But I'm really pleased that we got it pretty goddamn hot. Okay, and this is still quite manual labor, so we are going to use the uh, small press. I think we don't need even more force, and to be honest, I'm a bit scared of the big machine. I don't want to put like steel between that and be side of the bunker. Mm. So let's try first with this, and if we run out of force or speed or anything, then we can, then we can go to the big machine. Yeah. And maybe put the pop to spin the... Yeah. Pop is... If we make a program, then it's quite fast. Mm. Okay. But let's hope that it works like this. Boy. <laughs> okay. Um, it's hard. I can't keep it... I can't keep it like this. Lauri. Huh? En mä saa pidettyä sitä pystyssä, kun sä painat. Okei, okay, Hanna can't keep it like up. <laughs> First time when it's like this. So, uh, let's switch. Ok, 
okei, okay, really doesn't want to. Venäs, nyt, no nyt. We have to first cross it like just a little bit. Mm. Don't make it this flat, this is too flat. Mm. Because now it's really flat and really hard. We have too much force. Okay. Let's cut, cut it to like 20 tons. 30 tons or something like that. Or 20 or 15. So now it's... Does it make it this flat when it's still quite hard? Mm. And when it gets hot, it gets softer and softer. So then the force is more than enough. So let's try. Should we try only the the tip? Like like the very tip of it. Ah, oh, just the tip. Yeah. Okay, let's try just the tip. Mm. Let's Go. Try. No. The hammer is so fast yeah. that it doesn't have time to turn. Yeah. I think if we have to, we have to take like first thing is that we have to like slide the tables are a bit bad. Mm. I'm going to slide this aside. Yeah. Now we have just one yeah. one here. This is going to help. And uh, now I'm going to take like thick ass piece of steel, something big that mm. doesn't twist. Mm. And then I'm going to Use just the tip of this yeah. there and weld it there. Okay. So then we can keep it straight. It's ready. It's uh, just the tip 5 million. <laughs> yeah, it kind of helps, but not enough. And the thing, it just doesn't get any hotter. I think press is just too slow. It cools down into the tools. Okay, it, it really doesn't work. Because when it gets soft, it also gets soft and it breaks off. And as a quick update, if you missed the last week's video, you might not realize that our dice shop is finally open. We have all the materials in stock. So if you want a cool CNC machine dice, go check the shop out. And it's also the best way to support the channel. Okay, here we go. Let's start with easy one. Oh, I don't have the uh, full more. I thought that this is going to be easy. Okay, now it goes. Before. Yeah, I think he's a bit terrified. Holy shit, this is hot. Yeah, it's hot. Oh. 
this he can't escape. <laughs> okay, it, it's a, a like a picture. Like fr picture in a frame. Yeah. Sometimes things work better than sometimes. Mm. I think this was amazing how tough these were. Yeah. I thought like they are like just like empty soda can. Okay, now when you look, it doesn't look like a soda can, mm -hmm. but I thought that it's the same idea. Yeah, but uh, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.